Hey guys, happy Monday. Um, I have to go to work today. I have zippo energy. I had a great weekend though. I uh, filmed a get ready with me video for you guys. Uh, it's up on my channel right now and I did not realize the amount of work that seriously goes into a get ready with me video. Like, I know it is a lot of work, but I spent the whole day filming. Like I started at, I think it was 10 in the morning and I didn't finish filming until I left the show. I also did mom's makeup that day. My nose is itchy. And then I had Alan's gig and that was fabulous. And then I came home and I edited until 3 a.m. I started editing at 11 and went straight through till 3 a.m. and did all the voiceovers for that video. So it was a big production. I understand how people can literally like have a full-time job out of YouTube. It totally makes sense to me. Anyway, um, that's that. I'm wearing Max Girl About Town on my lips today. Uh, what else do I have to say? Don't forget to enter my giveaway. That's open until Valentine's Day. And, and what else, what else, what else, what else? I have a meeting tonight. Foster's is on tonight. Chasing Life is on tonight. Oh my lord, no wonder I'm going to be tired. Anyway, I'm really drained actually. I had like Zippo energy yesterday. I went to Nan's for turkey dinner and everything, but I had no energy whatsoever. Oh my gosh, still yawning. Um, yeah, so anyway, have a lovely day, my darlings. I will see you all tomorrow. Hopefully I'll vlog a bit more in the morning, but I have like no energy, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I hope you guys had a good weekend. I know a couple of you were at the Alan Doyle show, so I really hope you guys had as much fun as I did. I have a lot of footage from the show, actually, and I think I'm just going to make one video out of it, uh, and I'll post that soon. And I also have a product review that I'm hoping to get up this week, and it is on the Dew Puff. So yay for that. That's done and ready to go. I just have to sit down and upload it. So I will do that hopefully tonight, if not tomorrow night. And I will just go from there. So I will see you all tomorrow, guys. Bye. Happy Tuesday. Um, Yeah, life is good, I guess. I just finished watching Chasing Life. Yes, I did that this morning and not last night. I know, it's ridiculous. Um, it was so late last night, I just couldn't do it. It's just too hard. Um... And I'm still yawning, so yay for that. Um, I have a Wet n Wild Lippy on my lips today, and it is in the shade Red Velvet. Um, yeah, there's not much going on today other than Pretty Little Liars and Switched at Birth this evening, so I'm going to go to work. Um, and just FYI, don't forget to enter my Canadian giveaway. I'm giving away an Indigenous product and a new CD by Alan Doyle. It is the Soul Let's Go CD. I also have lots of clips from the concert, so I think I'm going to compile them into a video and post that here for you guys. But I'm hoping tonight to post a video, uh, a product review that I've been meaning, oh my gosh, that I've been meaning to do for a couple of uh, couple of days now and I haven't gotten around to it. So I'm going to totally post that, I think, and uh, it'll be nice. So I'm going to head off to work now. You guys have a lovely day. I will see you all tomorrow because tomorrow is Dragon's Den Day. I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys, happy th Wednesday. Oh, it's Dragon's Den Day though, which I won't be home to watch because I'm going to a hockey game tonight. Um, which is kind of, well, it's the first Dragon's Den I've missed in forever, but you can watch them online now at 8.30 Newfoundland time. So that's exciting. I may or may not be watching Dragon's Den during a hockey game. Um, I'm wearing Max Girl about channel on my lips right now. Um, last night, Pretty Little Lars' Switched Up Birth happened. If you guys watch Switched Up Birth, I swear to God, this season's been so amazing. It's been so intense and I've been loving it. Um, let me know down below if you watch Switched Up Birth and if you really like it. I can barely keep my eyes open this morning. I'm sorry. Um, something exciting happened yesterday. I love it when mail comes that you forget you ordered and you're really happy about. Um, this came yesterday. This is the Alan Doyle Boy on Bridge DVD documentary. Um, this came out last winter and it didn't come out on DVD last winter. It only came out a few weeks ago on uh, DVD, but you can get this at alandoyle.ca. But um, it aired on CMT last winter during what I call the dark apocalypse here in Newfoundland where we didn't have power for weeks on end and well, you know like sporadically throughout weeks and um, I was watching it and and all power did a rolling blackout so halfway through this the power went and then I couldn't find it online so I never actually got to um, see this I said very bad things about Newfoundland power that night very bad don't tell anybody they were not nice, man. Totally not nice. Anyway, so I got this finally. This came yesterday. I'm so excited. I can't wait to sit down and watch it. I'm pretty much staying in the weekend, so I'll enjoy it then. And life is good. So yay for that. I'm heading out now. going to work. So have a lovely day. Don't forget to go check this out on alandoyle.ca. And don't forget to enter my giveaway here on my channel for the Indigenous Blueberry Bliss Sugar Scrub. And of course, a copy of the So Let's Go album by Alan Doyle himself. He seems to be the musician of choice on this channel. 
Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I will see you when I see you, which is probably going to be tomorrow. I might try to take a bit of a video at the uh, hockey game tonight. We're sitting in the corporate booth, so it's going to be really exciting. And um, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Hi guys! I'm so excited! I'm coming at you right now with a very quick unboxing, but here it is because it is from the lovely Sephora. I feel like I've waited a flipping eternity for this bad boy, so I just opened the box so I wouldn't be struggling with it on camera because, you know, we all know what I'm like. The struggle is real. Hashtag problems! Um, so here we go! first thing I see is an envelope in here and I have no idea what this is. It says Love Notes, Beauty Insider, Triple Points Offer Inside. Okay, tell me more. Uh, Sephora, Gifts of Notes Sent with Love, Explore Our Most Love Sensing Gifts, blah blah blah. So I guess if you buy any of these, yeah, receive triple points on any fragrance purchase between the 5th of February and the 14th. And they sent me a whole bunch of cards about fragrance. That's lovely. I have Chloe. And on the back there's a little sample glued to it. These are the Elizabeth and James Nirvana. I actually have a sample sample in the box. I selected the black one, I think. Yeah, this is, this is, I'm really interested about these and I wish I had actually sniffed them when I was in Sephora, when I was in Toronto. Um, launched by Ashley Olsen and Mary Kate Olsen, Elizabeth and James plays with the duality of uptown sophistication and downtown edge, masculine tailor, tailor ring and feminine detail. I have the black one, I have the James, I think, in here. Uh, anyway, yeah, in the box, you'll see it in a second. This is a Tory Burch sample. Uh, Gucci Guilty Diamonds. I think this is really cute that they took the time to actually put each sample like on a card and you know it's neat. Uh, Prada Candy Floral. This is not, I have Prada Candy over in my drawer and um, it says a legendary the runaway Prada redefines fashion again and again and it's visionary designs and the latest from the house of candy the Italian productor arranges sparkling something and caramel and white musk into a bouquet of flirtatious confidence I bet that smells delicious Wow nice oh dear lord okay didn't notice this should have looked more closely on the back of each little sample here the lift to experience thing it actually has the prices of each size bottle on you in US dollars on the back of each card so that's handy and then of course it just gives you another card so thank you Sephora for an endless supply of perfume cards then I ordered a philosophy fresh start cleansing duo another one of these this is actually for a friend she asked me to order it for her and this is of course is the micro delivery exfoliating wash and the purity cleanser which I have currently been using and enjoying uh, that's what it looks like this was $18 and that's for a friend so she is of course gonna give me the money for that and I'm gonna deliver it to her and this is why I placed my order right here in my hand this is the Tarte high performance neutrals Tarte lit palette it's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be just FYI so let's bust this bad boy open um, I'm so excited guys to see this thing it's not even funny here we go here we go here we go hello you beautiful little creature you this is what the outside looks like it's tin, so that tells me it's going to be nice and safe and sturdy. And apparently impossible to open. Oh, hello. It comes with a nice big mirror. Can you see yourself? Do you guys like the camera? You can see the camera now. And it comes with 12 neutral shades. And oh my god, they are gorgeous. Holy jumpins. I've never used a Tarte eyeshadow before, so this is what the shadows look like. Just let me pick a random one to swatch. I'm going to pick a darker color. Uh, I picked the shade Bombshell. Holy, look at that. Wow, okay. And, mm -hmm. okay, totally worth it. Just right there, just looking at that. I'm really happy about that. I'm so excited. It's not even funny. Um, these are 12 matte shades, and the shades do have the names underneath them because that is a big pet peeve of mine when the shadows don't have the names. So thank you, Tarte, for actually doing it really right. I'm super duper duper excited about this palette. Oh my god. Okay, this was $53, I think. I think I spent $53 on this. Lord only knows. Yeah, $53. So it is, the back of it just says the Tartlet Amazonian Clay Matte Palette. Um, da, 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 da. Snow day! Happy Thursday! 
Hi guys, happy day after the snow day. Um, it's gonna be another messy day here. I know all of downtown is not plowed. My dad went down to shovel out our office for me and um, he couldn't get the car on our street. So I'm getting a cab to work and gonna get it to drop me off as close to the street as possible and I'm just gonna walk through all this snow instead of having to deal with trying to find a parking spot but I don't have to dig one out, find a parking spot, then try to go to lunch, then dig out another spot. It's not worth the hassle. So I'm not gonna bother. Um, which sucks because now I'm not gonna have a car today, but I can live with it for one day. Um, this is the first snowstorm of the season for us, so I guess it's not too bad. Um, it could be much worse. It was much worse this time last year, so I'm not gonna complain. At least I got a snow day out of it yesterday. Snow days are only good, well, storm days are only good if I actually get the day off. So yesterday I got the day off. It was the first snow day of the year, so yay for that. Now let me just jump right in and tell you what I'm wearing on my lippies. I'm wearing a creamy matte lipstick in the shade Craving Coral. And this is my first time wearing this bad boy and I really like it so far so that makes me happy. Um, I like the formula of those lippies a lot so thumbs up Maybelline. Um, what else do I have to say? I don't have too much to say. I don't have any big plans for the weekend. I have, well, tomorrow between 7.30 in the morning and 5 p.m. Full day. After that though, my time is mine and I'm not sharing it with anybody. Um, so that's exciting. And uh, what else, what else, what else? I don't have too much to say, guys. I really don't. I'm still tired. I missed my shows Wednesday night because of the hockey game. So we won in overtime, by the way. Go Ice Caps. Um, so I came on watch Dragon's Den late Wednesday night. So I was really grateful for my snow day yesterday. But that's really it. Um, I just realized it's the end of the week and I have some products to share with you guys. Only two this time. One of these I picked up last weekend when I was at Shoppers. The 24-hour uh, the store. I was in there at like 1 a.m. because I couldn't sleep. Um, <laughs> Hashtag problems. Um, I picked up the uh, Yes to Cucumber Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Wipes. This is what they look like. I only picked up the trial slabs because they were on sale for $2.14 um, and I thought great time to try so I did. Um, I'm in love with these. So the next time they're on sale at Shoppers I'm going to buy a big pack of them. And you can smell cucumber on them though, just so you know if you don't like scented things. Um, it goes away though, so I have no complaints there. Um, I also want to try the Say Yes to Blueberries, but I don't want to try the Carrots or Tomatoes. If that makes any sense at all. There's a whole skincare line actually, so from these guys. So I might start venturing into that and see how I feel about it. So that's exciting. So that's my first product of the week. I heard about these actually from Ingrid Nilsson on here on YouTube. Um, you guys probably know her as Miss Glamorazzi. I love her. I love Ingrid. Um, so yay for that. Um, I also was told where the CoverGirl Lava Lips are now here in St. John's, so I might pick up a couple a weekend and give them a whirl, so I'm really excited. They're finally here. It took like 30 billion years, but they're here. Also, if you're in the St. John's area and you guys stumble across the new infallible like lip glosses from L'Oreal, please tell me about it. Thanks! And my second product of the week, I'm all over the place this morning, but I'm sorry, and it's from Indigena, and it is the Blissful Lip Balm. It's hydrating and soothing. I have noticed with the weather here, our air is so evil. Like one minute it's moist and then the next it's like bitter air. So you can't really win. So your skin's constantly cracking. And this bad boy, I put a heavy coat of this on before bed and I have another one in my purse and I just use like a little bit on throughout the day and my lips feel amazing. They're not sore, they're not cracked, they don't burn. I'm so grateful for this product. This is $7. You can get it on the Indigena website, which is indigenousskincare.com or you can just go over and store if you are lucky enough to live on the island where this store is located um so that's all of my range for today guys i will uh, see you all soon have a good weekend don't forget today is the last day well today and tomorrow are the last days to enter the giveaway that i'm doing here on my channel for canadian residents only so i will link that video down below don't forget to go enter um and good luck so i will see you all on monday have a great weekend happy valentine's day